Birmingham, Alabama, a city with deep roots in the United States of America's history. People from across the world come here to build their lives. Birmingham is a city like many cities. It's filled with opportunities and hardship. Certain parts of the city appear to thrive, but if you look just past its surface, you will see the scars of its past. Crumbling architecture that drives the imagination wild and appeals to morbid curiosity. While many people see the collapsing parts of the city as unsettling or frightening, others can see it for its beauty. These crumbling images are stimulation for the imagination. They raise questions about the foregone past, the present, and the potential future. These failed structures visualize the passage of time and the inevitability of collapse. It is a very real reminder of just how fragile civilization is. On a smaller scale, these failed buildings show evidence of faded individuals, communities, and economies. These empty structures allow the observer to interpret them as she or he wishes and fill them with imagination. Failure is not a fixed position. It is a process. It is not in sync with progress or the modern world. Failure and entropy is a natural force in the universe. In civilizations, failure like these are accelerated when high-ranking individuals are not held accountable for their actions. Decisions to put personal gain ahead of all else can destroy communities. This is the Caraway Physician Medical Center, an over 1 million square feet facility resting on 52 acres of land located in the heart of Birmingham, Alabama. In 2008, the hospital went bankrupt for the second time and began a strategic shutdown of the entire facility. The doors were locked Halloween day, Friday, October 31st, 2008. The hospital was founded by Dr. Charles N. Caraway in 1908 and it was abandoned 100 years later. For much of its history, the Caraway Hospital was segregated according to skin color. On May 17, 1954, the United States Supreme Court ruled segregation unconstitutional, but Alabama was one of the states in the Deep South which didn't comply. In 1961, Alabama public transportation was still segregating passengers according to skin color. Whites were at the front of the bus while African Americans were forced to the back of the bus. This practice sparked a lot of controversy and led to the famous Freedom Riders. A man named James Peck was one of those Freedom Riders. Freedom Riders were white and black civil rights activists who rode interstate buses and refused to be segregated. During these peaceful demonstrations, Ku Klux Klan members would wait at the bus stop. In May 1961, James and many others were severely beaten with pipes at a bus stop in Birmingham. Now covered in blood and requiring emergency surgery, 
James came to the Carraway Hospital, which was segregated at the time. Due to the circumstances, he was denied treatment. James Peck required 53 stitches to his head. Throughout its history, the Carraway Hospital was considered a pace setter. In the 1980s, the facility added the area's only level one trauma center and three lifesaver helicopters. The helicopter program was one of only 5% of emergency flight programs in the nation that placed a physician on every flight. The helicopter program is still in service today. The Carraway Hospital has now been abandoned for more than eight years. The roof has failed virtually everywhere throughout the facility and moisture is accelerating the decaying process. Parts of the hospital have been reclaimed by Mother Nature. Although many ideas have been put forward on what to do with the Carraway Hospital, no action has been taken. It appears that the Carraway Hospital will not be saved. Throw something in there just to show that it's water. To illustrate. Well, we're not going any deeper than this. No. I didn't bring any scuba gear. I didn't say that you could. No consent? There was no consent. Jesus. Zero consent. This is an abandoned hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. More elevators, Nate. I need to come back with appropriate gear, a gimbal, a light. 